Hello, welcome to another video in the Emacs Goodie series. Today we're going to talk about dictionary mode. And dictionary notes does exactly what you think it does. It lets you look up the word at point for either the definition or cinnamon, synonym or both. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you the configuration that I have. So I have it right here, dictionary. It's built in. So I'm using use package as always, as we've seen in the other videos. So I'm deferring it because I don't need it to load because I use it every now and then. I don't have to ensure that it's installed because it's already built in, but I do have a couple bindings. So I do meta dot, which is if you do any programming, you usually bind the meta dot to as jump to definition. So for me, this is, I set it up as dictionary lookup in either if I'm in text mode, org mode, markdown, or if I'm using chat GPT and it spits out a word that I don't recognize. I say, hey, what's this? And then it just pops up a buffer and I already know what I'm reading. Okay, so that's pretty much the configuration. This is just something to make sure that it always pops up to the left. Don't worry about it. Um, you, all right, you can Google it if you want to learn more, but yeah, not part of the demo. And right here I am saying that what dictionary server do I want to query? So we're gonna just query dict.org. That's the one that Emacs supports out of the box. Unless you install one locally, then you have to do your own configurations there. But we're just gonna do dict.org since there's support already in there. All right, so what does it work? I mean, how does it work and what does it look like? Let's go to buffers right here. I'm gonna do meta dot and we should see a bu buffer pop up on the left. So meta dot, boom, over here. Word not found, maybe you're looking for one of these. It gives me, so it says, hey, these are some options. You can tap through them. I'm just gonna click on the first one and see what it says. Buffer, the collaborative interaction, and then it gives you all right here, all the definitions, a bunch of other stuff. Of course, you can click on these. These are buttons over here, so you can click on them if you like, but for right now, this is just uh, this is just a quick demo. So that's usually how I use it. Okay, cool. So that's a quick little demo. So let me go into the source code because there are some interesting stuff. So let's go to dictionary. Actually, those are variables. Dictionary. Okay, and go into the file. So if you don't know, this whole dictionary uh, feature is made possible because of an RFC called, uh, I believe it's in the, oh yeah, it's in the title. So it's a client for the RFC 2229, and that RFC talks about dictionary servers. So Emacs implements that, that way we can do this little handy dandy package, which is awesome. It says that there's two basically interfacing commands, either just dictionary, opens a new dictionary, or dictionary search, which is pretty much uh, dictionary search. And then in the mini buffer, we can do a search. Let me see if it has Emacs. Emacs, uh, hacker editors, programmer, or text editor, entirely lisp. Yep, so it has some info. So that's cool. So this package implements that RFC, like I mentioned. You guys can go ahead and read the RFC. It's pretty interesting if you guys are into reading technical documents. If not, that's all good. You just you watch this video and get yourself going. Now, for customizations, there's only... So there's a lot, but none of these I'd say you're gonna use. Um, well, I say because I don't use them at all. But the one that is interesting is the Dev Custom Dictionary Server right here. So like I said, you can either set localhost or you can set dictionary.org or use something else. But of course, if you use something, you have to do you'll have to do some change some other custom variables. Which is, I'll leave it up to you because for me, dict.org works just at a box. It's good enough, and we're good to go. Now the other thing that might be interesting are these default custom, or these dev customs that have the word default in them. So if you read the RFC, you'll see that there are some special characters, for example, the asterisk and the exclamation marks, they all have special meanings right here, it breaks it down, but some, like the default strategy, these are server dependent. For example, the dict.org server does not does not tell you out of the box what strategies are you it uses for for listing so for example the default strategy if you read the string says for strategy default strategy for listing matching words so you can make it so that it matches only the prefix or suffix or some type of uh, I believe it's called Liubian distance I totally butcher that but basically it says how far off are you from the real word so for example you misspell you forget an L in the word hello, it'll still match it to hello, things like that. But you have to query the server for that, and there's no easy way to do that. 
unless you query the server itself. Now Emacs does have a way to show it. For example, um, let me show you uh, dictionary search. And I'm just going to do hello. If I press meta m, it says meta m in here in this buffer is a key, is a shortcut to display all the type of uh, sorting strategies. So these are all the sorting strategies, and you can set them. So these are all the ones that dict.org support. But if you want to have another server, you're using something else, you have to query that to know. And Emacs can't do that out of the box, or it can actually. But I'll show you how to do it directly. So uh, if we do bterm, and then we do netcat dict.org, uh, I believe the port is 2628. So I know all this because I read the RFC specification, so I know which port to look at. So if we go right here, it's connected. And if I do type help, it tells me, but the one that I'm interested in is show strat, uh, both of these right there. So if I go to the end, oops, this is right there. So let me go into, yeah, there we go. So you can use exact for these. So it tells you what uh, options are there. So these are the ones that you can set it to, but for right now, uh, we'll leave it as the default and if you remember the default is is just a dot so in the RFC it says that if you leave a dot you basically say hey server I don't have a preference on a sorting strategy uh, so you just pick whichever the default is for you and then we'll go with that so it's pretty much using a dot and every single dictionary server needs to implement that so it's a hundred percent well if it's the server is implemented correctly this should never fail but yes that is how it's done yeah, I recommend looking at the source code if you want to learn some stuff. As usual, the built-in the built-in packages are pretty well made and pretty well documented, so they're pretty handy to look at and learn from yourself as well for yourself. But that is it. Hopefully, you learned something new. You use this. Tell me if you do use it or if you use a different dictionary server. I know I find this useful every now and then. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.